Always an amazing way to start the American Athletic Conference matchup here today on ESPN with the ECU Pirates getting set to take on the Navy midshipmen here today. The track? Yeah. The fastest part goes through the strip. It's awesome. It's pretty cool how they put that together. Here goes our line. Look out. Inside of ECU territory, the 30 down the sideline. Finally dragged down inside of the 20. And Xavier Arline, huge run, 39 yards. You see, they, they fake the handoff in the middle, and then our line just takes off and goes. And you can see the speed. This is the guy, we always talk about him as a lacrosse player, he has so much athletic ability. First down and 10 for the midshipmen here. From the gun is our line, Tesca on the carry. Here he goes to the end zone. Alex Tesca, touchdown Navy. Got the Christmas album going on, right? Here's a pass. There's the shot. Set it. Jaden Umbarger makes the catch, and he's got a first down for Navy to the 45 yard line. It's a gain of 13. Tulane and FAU on the football side. Thanks to Tulane with a 14 0 lead in that game. A nice pass play here to Jari Patterson, who makes the catch, and finally something for ECU up to their own 36 yard line on a first down. With the numbers they put up, they should have, you know, 14, 21 points on the board. Highline's pass is caught, and he's got Jaden Umbarger, and that's going to be close. Should be enough for the first down, and it is. Big play. He's come up with a couple of good catches today. And both on third downs. The last one was on third and ten, and this one comes up big again. This was just a, a really good job of concentration coming across the formation. Come off. <laughs> oh, nuggets seconds. today, partner. Yeah. Got a lot of them. All right. Deep drop. Throw in the middle. It's caught. And a huge completion made by Eli Heidenreich. And he goes into ECU territory, down inside the 25-yard line. Biggest play of the day. And what a throw from our line. Great throw and, and really great anticipation as there is an ECU defender down about the 40-yard line. But this is a little bit of a stutter and go. And so he fakes him with the pump fake and then just finds his target right down the seam. by this ECU defense. They've been phenomenal. Yeah. Keeping them in it. It's going to be a 42-yard attempt here for Kirkwood. It's blocked. How about that? Siobhan Revel got a hand on it for ECU. It keeps them in it here, and it keeps it a 7-0 game. Well, we're in for a, an interesting final 12 minutes. Kick is blocked. And it's still a 7-0 ball game from Annapolis. Here we go. I was, being, I was being gracious. Well, this team does have three defensive touchdowns on the season, which is ninth in the country. And they muff it here on the punts. It's Luke Larson. He was unable to get it off. The ball is out. And it's going to be Navy football regardless inside the 20-yard line. Unbelievable. Larson running to the right, dropped the ball, couldn't get the punt off and it's Navy that takes over an excellent field position. You know, he's trying to do the, the whole rugby thing. Yes. And I just loses the ball. I mean, Mike, this is one of the more sloppy games I've ever seen in a long time. 27 yard attempt for Kirkwood to take advantage of the fumble and he does. Finally some points. First points since the first quarter. 10-0 Navy with 8.49 to play in the contest. Positive here. Flint able to scoot it in front to find Gerald Green. But the clock is winding down on this one and Navy is going to get their third shutout of the season. That's the end of the ballgame. First team in the nation to have three shutouts this year. The Navy midshipmen on senior day with a 10-0 win over ECU and the Pirates who have been shut out for the first time in 26 years.